All right, what's up everybody? Chris here, Chris Goes Outdoors. We finally made it outdoors today. I've recently posted a bunch of stuff, uh, tents, sleeping bag, uh, and inflatable sleeping pad. And we finally got them out into the actual woods. So we're gonna set them up all together, just uh, see what they look like, see how they all come together. First thing we're gonna set up, we got the Big Agnes, is the Fly Creek UL2. We're gonna get that all set up we're right here in the Blue Hills of Massachusetts, right off a little uh, creek behind us. Hope it's not too distracting, but we're gonna get it rolling. And all right, everyone, so we're here, we're ready to go. We got this all outside. I got my buddy Dan here, Mr. Pacho, as we may refer to him. I don't know, we'll figure it out. Um, we're gonna set up the Big Agnes first. We have never set this thing up before. Um, I don't know how long it's gonna take. I'll actually time it. We'll see how long it takes us the first time. Uh, but we'll time lapse it so you don't have to sit here and get all uh, bored with it. So we're gonna start now. Start, three, two, one. So we got it all set up. This is without the rain fly. This is the first time setting it up. We had never done this before. Literally just took it out of the bag, set it up. It took us four minutes and six seconds uh, to get the pole set up. We got it staked in the four corners. Um, technically, I don't think you have to stake it, uh, but if you want more room down the end here, it helps immensely with the foot room. Uh, if you were just, you know, single person, you'd probably be all right without even staking it down. But Hey, whatever, that's up to you. Uh, we're gonna pop the rain fly on too, and we will see how long that takes as well. got the fly on it took us four minutes again just to get the fly on this is the first time we've ever set this thing up so you know no surprises we didn't look at the instruction manual we did it like the everyday man would do slow and stupid but we just skipped a couple tie down points I think these are just uh, you know just for more security they don't really you know add much as far as room or anything like that uh, I think it would just be more support so we got it all set up Looks pretty nice. Eight minute setup time on the first first uh, try. Not too bad, it looks nice. Got a fair amount of room in there. I'll give you a uh, another look around the tent with everything set up as it is now. see the little vestibule right there uh, got the door halfway open it's an Osprey Exos 58 pack uh, fits perfectly kind of like right in that little doorway so all right so we're gonna take it all down see how long it takes me to uh, get everything back out of the pack let's see all right we're starting now
go. That was six minutes teardown time. First time ever doing it. Not too bad, I suppose. Could I have done it neater? I'm sure. Did I do it neater? <laughs> no, not at all. But it's in a thing, it's a way everything fit in there. All right. So initial impression about the tent, the tent's great. If you're coming with two people, you just better be really friendly with that other person. Uh, it's a pretty tight fit. You can definitely make it work. More than enough room uh, if you have the fly on to like leave your packs in the vestibule. The only whatever I would say about this tent, I haven't obviously seen it in the rain and I'm definitely considering investing in a ground sheet for this. The material on the bottom, it's super thin. I don't know how durable it is. And to tell you the truth, I don't want to find out. So I'll probably, I don't think I'd buy the actual ground sheet that uh, Big Agnes makes. It's like 50, $60 at least, I think. Uh, probably just get a piece of Tyvek and go from there, but looks great. Get a further review and in, an entire review, an actual review, once uh, we get them out on the trail for a few days and we'll go from there. Just so you can see the thing there, that's how the stake set up. It's got, th it's not technically, I guess, considered a freestanding tent because you're supposed to stake it down. Um,